Here we go, because we're live. Ah, we're live, we're live. Good morning, <laughs> good morning, everyone. How is everybody this Wonder Wednesday, this Wonder Series Wednesday? So it is so great to be here. Happy January. Today is, wow, the 13th of Janu January already. Oh, Lord. I know, it goes so quick. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Denise Stegall. I am the CEO and the curator at livinghealthylist.com. And I am the coast, the coast, the host <laughs> of the Wonder Series. Now, for those of you who have been around a while, you know that we've done the, we did the Wonder Series last year in 2020 as a monthly event. We had so many questions and so many people who were interested in um, participating in the Wonder Series that I decided for 2021 that we would make it a weekly series. So this is the weekly Wonder Series Wednesday. Um, and essentially we are a weekly forum right here on Facebook, where you can ask the questions that you have been wondering about, hence the name. <laughs> yeah, there we go, love it. Wonder Series Wednesday. So each month what we do is we focus on a topic in the areas of health, wellness, personal development, and fun. Because uh, life, a, worth, a life worth living, you have to have fun. So bringing more fun into life. And then each week uh, on Wednesdays at noon uh, Central Standard Time, uh, I invite an expert to join me and answer the questions that you are just, you know, you really are looking for uh, answers to. And then we give, they give tips and strategies um, really so you can live that happy, healthy lifestyle that you've always been looking for. Um, and so since it's January and we're at the beginning of this new year, our topic is um, basically it is, how do I live my best life in 2020 month, 2021, despite what's going on in the world? And I'm really, really excited to have my friend Leanne Pruitt here with me today because Leanne is one, she is awesome. Number two, she is the queen of decluttering. And we're going to talk a little bit about decluttering in a little bit of a different way today. So Leanne, thank you for being with me today. Oh my gosh, Denise, you know how I'm, I'm always excited to be with you. We always have such a good time. <laughs> we do, I'm we do. Mm -hmm. It's really great to have um, people who you work with, who you're friends with, and who you really appreciate. Uh, so yeah. it makes it, you know, it's, it's a job and it's work, but it's really not. It's just a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. I love that. Mm -hmm. So let's talk, let's just start talking a little bit about clutter. And you know, we all talk about, oh, we have clutter. What is clutter? Well, why do we know, have it? Well, you know, for me, you know, I have kind of a broad definition of clutter. Um, really clutter is anything that gets in the way of you, your goals and dreams, what you want to do in life. Um, now that could be, you know, that could, now, of course, when, when we think about clutter, we all think about the piles in the corner or that cabinet, you know, that black coal cabinet you open up and you're like, oh, or <laughs> that, you know, or that, um, like that basement or that, um, attic that it's like just scary when you go up there and that, I mean, and that is certainly clutter. And that's what I, what I help people really with, uh, you know, that's, 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 that's our entree into getting rid of all that clutter. But you know, uh, you know, there's like, there's like schedule clutter, there's, you know, financial clutter, there's health and wellness clutter. It's all, it's all basically anything that gets in the way of us is acting like clutter in our lives. Um, and, you know, really, when you think about it, like these clutters, uh, you know, it all starts up here. It all starts with like a cluttered mind and a cluttered mindset. So, um, you know, that's, that's that's really the place where you want to start when it's time to get rid of those piles of clutter that are stopping you. So, so how do how do how does one tackle that? I mean, if it's if it all starts up here, what's that first thing that we need to think of when we come downstairs and and I'm sitting in my 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 office here my, is my spare bedroom. I have a bunch of stuff sitting on my bed that needs to either be put away or thrown away or given away. And I do this all the time, it seems, mm -hmm. but yet I still have clutter. What's going on? Well, I think the one thing that you, well, one thing that you need to do is you need to get really one thing or the first step that I like people to do is like get really clear with what this clutter is costing you like what it's costing you to see that clutter on your bed. Um, 
because you know clutter is like everything everything is vibrational there's energy to everything um it's and it's like you know it's, it's it sounds woo woo but it's really if you look at you know quantum physics you've got an atom and you've got an electron and a proton it's energy vibrating around so that clutter those piles of things they're electrons and protons and they are vibrating as well um it's just it's it's really be, it's really disrupting the energy in your space it, it can stress you out um it can cause anxiety um just just general malaise tiredness all those kind of things so it's like it has a it has a bearing on your you know your mental health but it's also i mean just some you know just 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 as simple as you can't find what you need maybe you know do you know what's in those piles on the bed can you find can you find what's in there if you knew that there was something there how long would it take you to actually be able to find it Mm -hmm. um, so it's, you know, it's actually physically stopping you from um, proceeding with your life the way you want to. So, so I think the first thing to really do is to, you know, just to begin to start with, to just get clear what the clutter is, is, you know, is, is costing you what, you know, what it's actually doing in your space. Um, and then, and, and here's the thing, you know, if you, if you've got clutter, if you, you know, if your habit is to be cluttered, what it is, it's a habit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have good habits, we have bad habits. Everything we do, like our subconscious mind runs about 95% of what we're doing. So most of the time, you know, we think we're all, you know, here and present and doing what, what, what's going on. But most of the time it's, it's, it's something, it's a loop, something running on our subconscious mind. Um, and it's habits. It's like our subconscious mind has all these habits that it has us do. And mm -hmm. if you've got a habit of being cluttered, then the thing you want to do is you, we want to replace that with a different habit. And so that you have a different relationship with clutter. And it's, you, you, you really got to get into your, when I say your mindset, into your subconscious mind and kind of reprogram it so that your relationship to clutter is really different. Mm -hmm. And we'll get into a little bit, uh, that a little bit more in a second. But I think it's interesting um, when you brought up, you know, quantum physics and the, um, the vibration. And I know with so much, so much of the stuff that I read, uh, we talk about the universe and we talk about vibration and, you know, kind of what you bring in, um, oh, yeah. how that affects you. And I never really thought about it when it came to the clutter. And mm -hmm. of course I'm looking over at the corner and I also have a pile of clothes that actually were on my trip. I wore on my trip to Florida, but they're still sitting there. And the yeah. question of course is, you know, do I put them away? Do I go through them? Um, and I never really thought about how that energy mm -hmm. affects me physically. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. That's, that is a piece, you know, we think clutter, we just think it's just piles of stuff and that's kind of where it ends. So realistically, there's a lot more to clutter than meets the eye, so to speak. Oh, heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there's a huge bit, there's a huge, there's a huge bit more to clutter than what meets the eye. Because if you think about it, I mean, if it were just a matter of you got stuff, you got too much stuff, get rid of it. The, we wouldn't have the clutter problem that we have in the United States in the world today. It was, it's so it's, there's clearly so much more going on with clutter than just piles and getting rid of those piles. Mm -hmm. What do you think, in your humble opinion, what's the number one thing that, that really that we're struggling with that is causing us to create this clutter in our world, in our lives, in our homes, <laughs> and apparently in our offices? <laughs> yeah, in our offices, yeah. I think that's like, I think that's a really good question. Um, and I, I, I think that I would say, I don't know that anybody's actually asked me the question that way. But I think that I would say that what it is, is we are using, we are using the clutter or our relationship with the clutter to, to compensate for something. Um, it's, it's, it's either, you know, we're looking at past and our, and our, you know, it's like, oh, maybe we have things in our life. We think, oh, this reminds us for stuff. We have, this reminds us of better times. So we're, we're not present in the future. We're looking past. Or if it's something that we think, oh, we may need this someday. I can't get mm -hmm. rid of this. What happens? It's like, it's fear of the future. So it's almost like, you know, guilt or worry or fear. Um, it's either, it's looking towards the future 
um, or looking towards the past and not being present with where we are right now. It's like, it's almost like a, like a, like a crutch for us to, you know, is, or it's like some kind of, it's like a protection mechanism, something like that with something that we haven't dealt with from the past or something that, you know, just our future, future focus. Does that, does that make sense? That does, Leanne. It, it actually, it's interesting because I know so often in health and wellness, one of the things, especially when it comes to personal development, we're constantly talking about being in the present, being in the moment. And that of course is, you know, what meditation is about and yeah. um, sitting quietly and, and, and meditating and how that is helps us to actually be just be right now and if we're looking back and we're looking forward then what's happening now we're never really in the now and so the clutter that actually makes a lot of sense because i know i've said this to myself you know looked at a pair of pants i'm like oh they're a size two (laughs) yeah no i've never actually had that exact problem but you know maybe a size 10 or 12. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Sizes are kind of weird right now. I mean, yeah. it, you know, I literally in my closet, they go from a size two to a size eight and it's like, yeah. okay, which one are going to fit? But let's be real. I'm at 49 and almost 50. Uh, a size two is probably uh, unrealistic. <laughs> I don't want to work that hard. Well, and you know, and, and I'll tell you, I'll, you know, you mentioned the clothes and the sizes and having the sizes in your closet. Um, What I really think is such a key thing is like, when you open your closet, you want to be able to reach in and whatever you pull out, know that it fits you, you feel good in it, and that it's something that you're going to enjoy wearing. Um, Those clothes that don't fit, get them out of there. If you're not ready to get rid of them yet, you think you're going to lose. And I I myself, I have a box of, of, of smaller clothes, one box but it's not in my closet. So it's not, so when I reach in there and pull, I know everything that's in there is gonna fit and look good on me. And it's such a, that in itself is so psychological because it's like, if you reach, if you look at that and you're like, oh, I'd love to wear that dress or that shirt or those pants, but they're just too tight. Then you, it's like, you start judging yourself. You've got judgment and then you're just going into judgment and guilt and blame and all those, those things. And it's like, you don't need that. We're, you know, mm-hmm. we're all just fine, just the way we are. And we all deserve to have clothes and to feel good in, in our clothes and have it fit, you know? Which again, goes back to, it really does go back to mindset, which you said yeah. earlier. Yeah. And I think most of us just really think of it on a very physical level. You know, right. I go into my office on a Monday um, or a Friday before I leave my office. What I try to do is to clear, clear off the clutter. So when I come in on Monday, I can start doing what I want to do. Yes. And it didn't, I never really thought of it so much as a mental thing or a, um, uh, a mindset thing. But I know if I walk in there on Monday and there's stuff all over the first hour I'm going through and, you know, getting rid of things and reorganizing, um, and the same thing with the closet. Uh, And I've actually had somebody come through with me a couple of years ago, go through the closet, try stuff on, you know, put outfits together. And I have to, and I have to say what I felt then was, um, I felt lighter. I mean, literally I physically felt lighter Mm -hmm. and looking in my closet was a pleasant experience because like you said, I knew everything looked good. I knew it fit. I knew things that went together. So even though I was physically looking in the closet, it really is that mental piece, that mindset piece Mm -hmm. that is really important. And I know this is something that you speak of quite a bit and uh, coming up on Monday, Monday, yeah, Yeah. Monday, you have a really amazing project for all of us. So I'd like for you to tell us a little bit about that. Um, Oh, I'm so excited about that. It's a five day challenge and it's actually called the ACE Your Mindset um, five day challenge. And what we're really going to do is like, you're going to, you're going to, I've got, I'll have a training every single day of those five days, you're going to get a, you know, workbook with, with fun exercises that you can do. And you're going to come away with that with lots of tools that you can use to really shift your mindset around your clutter. And you're going to actually, we're going to have some, you know, you're going to get some results right then and there, because some of the, some of the, um, some of the exercises we're going to do, it's going to actually give you some, some, some results and some things right there that, that you can use. Plus, we're going to talk about how to actually set yourself up to declutter your space 
um, with, you know, something set up an achievable, realistic, um, you know, measurable plan and give you some, some, some tools where you can actually track and see that you're on task. Um, it's just going to be real fun. And um, it's, you know, it's going to, it's going to really get us all set up for, for doing some great things in the new year in, in 2021 around our clutter and shifting that mindset around clutter. And really, when we think about it in, you know, for this next year, if we want to make 2021 our best year, no matter what's going on, it really needs to start with our mindset. And those small things, a five-day challenge, we start with a five-day challenge. What's the next thing we can accomplish? Exactly. So I'm really excited. Um, of course, I've signed up. Uh, and for those of you who haven't uh, participate, participated in one of Leanne's challenges, I really recommend that you do. Um, I will add the link down in the, um, in the, in the notes because one, Leanne is so much fun. Like she gives so much content, uh, in her, in her challenges and her Facebook lives. If you've ever seen Leanne's Facebook lives, you get so much information from her. Um, so please follow her as well. Uh, is it at let's aceyourspace.com or aceyourspace.com on Facebook? Um, well on Facebook, um, it's it's a long number because I haven't changed it yet. But you can um, you can find my business page at letsaysurespace.com, and then that will get you to our. Well, you can actually look for let's say sure, You can Google the let's say sure space. It's a private group, um, so you've got a couple of questions that you'll need to ask um, before we let you in. But we have such fun over there. So it's a really good, really dynamic mm -hmm. group, and we you know we ace your space. That's mm -hmm. what we do. And every day in that group, it's really, it's really a group that has grown over the years um, since you and I have known each other. Um, and again, the content and what I'm always amazed by is you, you might ask a question or you might have some great information, but the other people in the group really do participate and, yes. and really um, comment. And so I think if we're ready to ace our space in 2021, ace our mindset in 2021, this is a great place to begin. Um, any last thoughts, tips that you can give us? If, if I guess the question would be, okay, before we go, what's the one thing? And of course, the one thing we want you to sign up for the challenge yes. aside from that, yes. sign up for the challenge. Yes. So I, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to give you two quick little things to do. The th first of all, kind of going back to that mindset. Um, what I want you guys to do is I want you to really envision if your goal is to declutter, you know, whatever clutter is in your life, um, if, it, if you've got a cluttered space, if it's, you know, if it's a financial goal, if it's a health and wellness goal, whatever it is, I want you to really visualize that decluttered space, your decluttered finances, your decluttered health and wellness, mm -hmm. um, your decluttered space, and really create that vision for yourself. Get, make it a juicy vision, put in as many sensory inputs, um, what are you, you know, what are you seeing? What are you smelling? Are you smelling flowers? What are you tasting? Maybe you're drinking coffee in your nicely decluttered um, living room. Um, what are you hearing? Maybe you're hearing your friends come over and say, um, your space looks so great. Or maybe you're listening to music and sitting in your really, your nice, nice, clear living room. Anyway, make it as sensory as you can. And you, I mean, I've talked about, you know, like your space, but on any goal you have, and really, you know, really get emotionally vested in this vision because that's going to help pull you towards it. So that's like one thing I want you to really, before you do anything, really sit there and decide what you want and make it really juicy and call to yourself. And then is this something thing, though, real quick, is this something that people should actually be writing down or just kind of thinking about it mentally? Write it, write it down, write it down and then, and repeat it to yourself every day until you can call it to mind, until you can visualize it yourself. And just, it just keeps, it just helps to keep visualizing it yourself. Uh, that's one of the things we're going to be doing in, in the, in the five-day challenge, as a matter of fact. Um, and then another thing that I would say is, you know, just let's, 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 let's get busy. Let's do something. And maybe you're, maybe you're afraid, maybe you've tried decluttering, it doesn't work. Um, or you think, you know, oh, I've got so much. Set a timer for 15 minutes and just declutter something. Open a drawer. If it's if you got a junk drawer, declutter it for 15 minutes. Um, you know, a cabinet, or go like go in your closet or in your pantry or something with the idea that after 15 minutes it's going to look better than it did before. Like in your pantry, you can pull um, like stuff that's expired, stuff that you and your family are not eating. 
um, maybe shift a little bit so that like things are with like, and you do the same thing in your closet, make like things with like stuff that you know you don't like, pull it out just with the idea of after 15 minutes, it's going to be better than it was before. Mm -hmm. And that just gets you in the, that just shows you that you can do something in a short amount of time. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think, and again, that's, that's a mindset thing. You know, you set that time. So what I've truly learned here today, and you and I have known each other for a long time is truly decluttering really is about mindset. There really is true mindset work that you do when you are decluttering. Yes. Yes, indeed. So. so I'm really excited. Uh, again, everybody um, definitely join the, um, the five day challenge. It, it's, um, and I'll just tell you it's at let's ace your space.com slash five day mindset. And again, I'll po post that uh, make sure you have that link. Um, join up, have fun, declutter, work on your mindset and let's make 2021 the best year, despite yeah. what's going on Do in it. the world. Do it. Do it. Okay. Leanne, thank you so much for joining me. It's always a pleasure. It's so much fun chatting with you. I always learn something new. Uh, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my dear. Good to see you and good to see all of you guys too. Come join us for the challenge. Come join for the challenge. And for everybody here at uh, Living Healthy List, don't forget we're here every Wednesday uh, for Wonder Series Wednesday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, I will see you next week. Till then, healthy living, happy life. Bye. Bye.